Lesson 11.4b, Graphing the Solution of an Inequality. A solution of an inequality that contains a variable is any value of the variable that makes the inequality true. If we have x is greater than 2, the value of x is any number greater than 2. It could be 3, it could be 4, it could be 5, and so on. When we see this inequality, it means the unknown number, m, is less than or equal to 3. When we see an inequality like this, it means the unknown number is greater than or equal to 5. When graphing the solution to an inequality, we use an open circle to show the number is not included as the solution, and we'll be using a greater than or less than symbol. We use a filled-in circle to show the number is included as the solution, and that would be a greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. This inequality is n is less than or equal to negative 5. The inequality symbol is less than or equal to, and since it can be equal to, we use a solid circle to show negative 5 is included as a solution to the inequality. We draw a ray starting at negative 5 towards the left of the number line that goes towards the lesser numbers. And we can check our solution by choosing a number on the ray and substituting it for n. If we choose negative 7, well, that's less than negative 5. And if we choose negative 5, that is equal to negative 5. So these are both true. For this inequality, we have 3 is less than a. It's less than. This means the solution is any value that is greater than 3. a is equal to any value greater than 3. And since it's greater than 3, it does not include 3. We use an open circle to show 3 is not included. We draw a ray starting at 3 and towards the right of the number line going to the greater numbers. And we can check our solution by choosing a number on the ray and substituting it for a. So we could choose 4, and 3 is less than 4. That's true, so 4 is a solution. 3 is less than a can be written as a is greater than 3. Both inequalities state that a is greater. Here we have a graph of 3 is less than a. It doesn't include 3 because it's less than a. So a could be any number greater than 3. And for this one, a is greater than 3. Well, it doesn't include 3 because it's greater than 3. We have the same graph. The graphs will be the same. And the greater than and less than are graphed with an open circle to show the number is not included. This inequality states that 6 is less than x. It's not the same as 6 is less than or equal to x. 6 is less than x would be any number that is greater than 6, and it does not include 6. 6 is less than or equal to x means it's or equal to. It means it does include 6 as a solution, so that's a yes. So you can see we have the open circle for the no and the filled in circle for the yes. And we can think of the open circle as the O in no. The solution to this inequality and this inequality is not just the whole numbers, it's all the tiny little increments between the whole numbers also. Remember, numbers to the left are less. The values go less as we go left. They both start with L. Maybe that'll help you remember it. Left is less. And the greater values are going towards the right. We're moving on, now that we've finished this lesson, to the next lesson, 11.4c. We're going to be writing inequalities. So just remember when graphing that the open circle means no, it's not included, like the O in no. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll join me for the last part of this lesson. Bye.